Hey guys, welcome back to Shelltech. In this video, I'll be unboxing and testing the ESM9110 wireless controller from Easy SMX. So this wireless controller is compatible with PC, Android phones, tablets with an adapter, Nintendo Switch, and PS3. Curiously, it doesn't work with the Xbox One. It runs for around $35 and comes in two colors, black and multicolor. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let's see what's in the box. The Easy 9110 from Easy SMX comes in a minimal black and gold box with a stallion logo. And inside the inner box we actually have the rather large wireless USB dongle. And the ESM9110 wireless controller itself in a clear plastic bag. A USB type C charging and interface cable so you can charge the 8 hour battery. We also got a little thank you note and a support contact information card from Easy SMX. And finally, a multilingual manual with easy to understand instructions. The first thing I noticed is the ESM9110 is surprisingly lighter than my Xbox One joystick I've been using for my PC gaming. The 2.4 wireless dongle is surprisingly large with a red LED light on the back and the USB type C charging cable. Now going hands on with the ESM9110, the home button is in the center of the controller. Pressing it activates the controller and the blue LEDs going up and down is searching for a connection to the wireless dongle. Now the two buttons under the LED, the one on the left controls the five levels of brightness and the one on the right controls the five levels of rumble intensity. So this controller has an Xbox One configuration with a matte look on the sides and a glossy middle. Four buttons surround the center home button labeled Back, Turbo, Start, and Mode. The analog sticks are flat in the middle with a raised edge to make it more secure for gaming. And on your right side you have your four main keys which light up and have embedded fonts so they won't wear out. On the front will be your four triggers, two multi-stage, and you'll see your USB-C charging port with LED indicator. Now on the bottom is the main difference between this controller and others at this price point. You actually have four programmable M buttons which can be mapped to your X, Y, A, B button. This feature should make it easier for people who play FPS games or even sports games to be able to press a button without their thumbs leaving the analog stick. Setting up the controller is easy. All you have to do is plug in the 2.4 GHz wireless dongle. It will blink red until you press the home button on the controller. A solid red button on the dongle and then two steady blue LEDs on the controller show you are connected. You can map any of the four M buttons on the bottom of the controller. To do this, hold down the M key you want to map, press the back key, the color will change around the analog stick to purple. Press the button you want mapped, then press the M button again. The color around the analog stick should change back to blue and you're good to go. And if you ever wanted to reset the M button back to default, all you have to do is hold the M button, press back, and press the M button again to reset back to default mode. You have about eight hours of wireless playtime and it takes about two and a half hours to fully charge, but you can use the controller while it's plugged in. You don't have to use the wireless receiver if you're directly plugging it into your PC or console. Wireless range is about 10 meters, which is plenty for any size room. Now here's a sample of using the ESM9110 wireless controller playing Madden football. I'm off the bench here and you called multiple plays because you're going to say this is how we're going to run them in order guys. You don't have time for all of you don't have time to change anything. You're trying to get the ball in position to at least get three. They've got a great shot to do it right here. They'll try and start this drive in the world. He's got the hook up for his own. 22 yards on the catch and run on the first down. But that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. I was going to let this go for the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Dolphin. So that was an unboxing and test of the ESM9110 wireless controller from Easy SMX. 
After using this controller for a couple weeks, some things I like about this controller are the textured grip, which my old Xbox controller doesn't have. It makes it really comfortable for your hands as they get sweaty and slippery during long gaming sessions. I like the LED on the controller. I like how you have the extra buttons on this controller, but I would inadvertently hit them during the game, so you have to be very mindful at all times about where your placement of your fingers are. Also, with the almost look to an Xbox One controller, it's curious that it's not compatible with the Xbox One console. To conclude, the ESM9110 is a budget-friendly, well-built, responsive, wireless game controller that is a great alternative to an Xbox One gamepad. If you're interested in picking one of these wireless controllers up, I'll drop a link in the description. Also, leave a comment if you have any questions about this controller. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell for future videos. Thanks for watching.